welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm going to show you how I draw a realistic packet of Hubba Bubba bubblegum. Here's a quick look at how my 3D realistic Hubba Bubba bubblegum picture turned out. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. But let's go back to the beginning to my outline sketch which I did using a pink Pilot Color Eno pencil lead in my mechanical pencil. So this color pencil is erasable so it's really good for sketching and I thought it would show up less than a regular graphite pencil for the outline sketch because if you're doing a realistic picture you don't want that pencil outline to show up on the end sketch so if you are using pencil make sure that you lift up with a kneaded eraser or a piece of blue tack to lighten your sketch before you go and start the colouring in. I also thought that this pencil would be really good for small details because it's got a really fine point to it so I thought that would be really good but I did do the outline sketch with a reference picture that I'd taken myself on my camera but it was a bit fiddly because unlike with the donut picture that I did last week which was a bit more forgiving this had to be a really accurate outline sketch for it to look realistic just like a packet of Hubba Bubba. But once I got the outline sketch down and I was happy with it then I just began by blocking out some main colours with the colour pencils that I was going to use and I mostly use colour pencils for this I will detail them all in the description box below but the reason for that was purely because to get the colours accurately like the packet of bubblegum I had to use what I had and I didn't have any markers or anything like that that were even remotely the right colour so I did most of it in coloured pencil and I had to make sure obviously that the pencils were really nice and sharp and I did lots of light layers and built up gradually and I also had to be careful that I left the lightest brightest areas free of colour pencil so that they would really stand out as you can see with a white colour pencil here so if you want to play along with the current challenge that I'm doing then all you've got to do is to guess which cartoon or movie character I might be drawing on Friday's video and that cartoon character is somebody who really likes pink bubblegum so if you think you know who it might be then pop a comment in the box below or a guess and if you're right then I will be shouting out your name at the end of Friday's video So back to the drawing, I'm just to the point where I'm just covering over some of the main colour areas, blocking those colours out before I go in with too many details. So I do think that the trickiest part of this was getting the accurate outline sketch to start with because once I got that then it was just a case of sort of blocking out those main colours in colours as accurately as possible or as near as could be to the colours on the packet. And as I said the most fiddly bits were the writing and I think a way around this that I might take from for next time would be to perhaps do the drawing slightly larger and in that way the writing would be larger and less fiddly. But I did have a really good time doing this and as much as it felt like it took about four hours when I looked at the video footage it did only take me two and a half hours so it wasn't too bad and I think it turned out okay in the end. There are a few bits that I would um, do differently next time and as I said I think I might make it a bit bigger next time. So for the, the grey areas on the packet, so it's the inside of the packet, I just used a variety of different greys and just tried to blend them together. And at this stage it kind of looks okay but 
later on when I add the, the white gel pen for those reflections it really does pop and look far more realistic. So you'll notice that I do actually use some fine liners for the writing and again they weren't exactly the right colour but it was basically just using what I had available to me and kind of making do with those. So at this point when I was doing the, the grey sort of silver paper, I wasn't entirely sure that it was going to turn out that well because when I was doing it, it did look quite dark and it didn't really stand out as being silver paper. But it's the contrast between the really dark areas and the light areas that kind of in the end makes it look realistic. So if you're trying any realistic drawings, if I'm in a position to offer any advice, I would say make sure that you get those contrasted areas in so make sure that you do go dark enough and then pop in those highlights at the end and it will really look really effective. So once I've done a base colour all over it was then time to go back in and do another layer and really kind of burnish those colours in once I was sure of what colours I was using and that I'd got everything in the right place. And when you burnish, you're really kind of pressing a little bit hard and getting into that tooth of the paper so it really covers all of those gaps in the paper and it gives a really nice even coverage. But those fine liners were really helpful to get in the tiny bits of writing. And as you'll see now, I'm just using the color, um, a really quite a bright pink color marker just for those darker areas. So a real mixture of different materials for this piece. And then just building up those darker shades of pink. Again making sure that I went dark enough. And then just kind of adding to it, building up the layers and then making sure certainly with the creased areas that you've gone really dark in the folds to contrast with the lighter areas where it's not folded. And it's really important to have a good reference picture. I did take my own photograph of this bubble gum so you can kind of um, take a really nice picture, make sure you've got lots of light and also shadows and having a good reference picture is really important when you're drawing realistically. So it's got to be clear, not blurred, in focus and have a nice sort of range of highlights and shadows. So again, the fiddly bits were all the writing and even with a sharp pencil it was quite hard to get into those details so that it would look as realistic as possible. And one thing I did want to point out with the actual packet bubblegum on the side that I'm just doing now, I didn't actually go in with white straight away, I did use a very pale, I think it was like a 20% grey or something, so that it would still show the white highlights. And then as you can see, putting in those shadows really helps to bring the picture to life. And making sure that those are nice and smooth and even and dark enough will also help your picture to look realistic and 3D. And then adding the white gel pen really helps to make it pop. So that really helped with that sort of shiny foil area to make it look shiny and contrast with those darker shadowed areas. So if you've liked this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and if you want to play along with the challenge don't forget that if you think you know who might be the owner of this pink bubblegum, which cartoon or movie character then jot them in the comments box below and I'll be calling your name out on Friday. Thanks for watching, bye!